Now, we coming back off the episode where the fight had just taken place with me and Buttman. Now, I told you, after that fight happened, a couple of their boys broke camp. You know what I'm saying? And which is Chad and Red. Shandrika and Red. You know, so they end up going over there by Baby Charles and Q. You know, they, 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 uh, Buttman and them looking kind of weak. So now they capitalizing on it, uh, Chad and Red, so they can go mingle out in the prison and go be by somebody, you know, much like themselves and find they happiness and, you know, they place in the prison. So they figured it's the perfect opportunity to do that. You know, you could tell butt man on fire about it but he ain't making no moves at him right now because you know what i'm saying he's still sore from this fight you know what i'm saying even if even if he not trying to show it uh you you just know he's still sore from this fight or whatever so you know as that happens you know you see butt man over there you see B big bambino you see keith you see terrell they all over there talking you know what i'm saying and they arguing about petty misdemeanor things you know what i'm saying like junk food snacks and you know what i'm saying who care package this is see butt man over there and he laughing and instigating the argument between big bambino and keith you this your crew but your feelings still kind of bothered about this fight so you got to do something to show you know what i'm saying that that you know what I'm saying you in control and you still got the power so you got these two dudes going backwards and forward arguing about snacks don't know exactly what happened with the snacks but uh Bambino and Key bitch I want my shit I swear if I if I swear if my shit don't find its way home we going to have a problem my shit better find its way back home now, this argument just dragging on and on and on and on. So it catch the attention of the whole prison. So keep like, bitch, I'll flush you up in here. So before you know it, uh, Big Bambino and Keith, they start tearing it down up in there. They, they actually fighting each other. So I'm like, man, they crew fucked up. So they fighting each other and we all watching. Yeah, whoop, whoop. We ain't going for nobody, but we just want y'all to just punish each other you know what i'm saying so uh big bambino he ha ah, 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 get him keep keep got him keep got him. oh look bino look at bino bam hit him bam bam this just goes to show you how fucked up of an individual but man is because you feeling down or you feeling some kind of way in your feelings about this fight you would rather see these dude fights to make you fight them for the prisoner to take their mind off the fight you just had that made you look like you wasn't invincible. And plus to make you feel good about yourself. So, okay, finally, they end up breaking up the fight and the fight end up being over. So you can see Budman laid back on his rack, you know what I'm saying, just looking through the whole prison, chewing on something. He chewing on something because I'm watching him. I'll never take your, my eyes off you again, you know, to the day I leave here. Just the simple fact is we all, we didn't have a fight, and I'm not going to take my eyes off you. All right, so getting back into the story. Now, he paying attention over there to Red and Chad. You know, Red and Chad, they both are like the, the females, so they not, you know, dating each other or messing with each other or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? So, ultimately, a couple of days go by. You know what I'm saying? The same thing going up. Both butt man to walk over there, talk to him, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Uh giving him a couple little things, you know, like he checking on his his wives or whatever. You know, he he playing the husband dropping off care packages and stuff like that, you know. And sometimes they, you know, refusing it, like, nah, we good, we don't want nothing or whatever, whatever. But this is all upsetting him, you know what I'm saying? And right now he's still don't want to do nothing because you just in loss uh, two of your boys and you really ain't got the full confidence of your crew. You know what I'm saying? Plus, we we confident and stronger, stronger than ever. You know what I'm saying? And right now, you just really testing the waters. But you he's still a very dangerous individual and he a loose cannon. And no matter what's not in his, whatever's not in his favor, he still... He still a uh, go off and do something totally unpredictable. So we're going to fast forward this thing for about a week. 
So Chad, which is Chandrika, but I'm going to call him Chad. Chad end up starting to, you know, you see about the prison that he kind of, you know, mingling around with this straight dude. But I guess he liked Chad. So he Jay kind of hanging around Chad. And Bambino seeing this, but they're not doing too much. That you just catch them talking every now and then. But you can see Bambino with the meanest look on his face. You know what I'm saying? And the dude Jay, now he's been in the prison, but he always stayed himself. And I, I can't even remember too much about the dude Jay. You know, but I didn't had a conversation with him. But you know, so you know, this is shocking to me too to see him uh, every other you know day or whatever talking to Chad. So, but man, seeing this and seeing this and seeing this. So I guess he let this bills up for about a day or two. And finally, he walks over there to where uh, Jay and Chad at. And he 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 get close, maybe like within 20 feet of them and, and get to hollering about, Shane Drake, Shane Drake, come here. And but man calls Chad a couple times, you know, like this. And, you know, but Chad ignores but man, you know, just like like nothing, just ignore the fuck out of him. So finally, but man, I guess he told Steve, hey, look, I want you to go over there and start hanging out with them every day and just tell me what's really going on between uh Shandrika and Jay. So, you know, so that's what that's what I get from it because before that happened, you didn't see Steve over there with them. But after that, you started seeing Steve go over there every day and then, you know, go back by Buttman. Now, uh, Red and Chad is now located over there. That's their permanent spot. They got relocated by Q and Baby Charles. You know, so uh, if Steve was really allowed or uh, felt like he could leave, he would be then got relocated over there because you're going over there every day. You know what I'm saying? So you know this a move by Buttman. Now, I want to also add this in. See, Steve also had an opportunity to transfer to another dorm, but he declined when we was in the block and ended up coming back to this damn dorm with Buttman. So now I'm picturing he's in love with Buttman. He loves being around him. So, okay, so he's doing that move for Buttman. So... After, let's fast forward about three more days. After three more days of Steve hanging out, really being Buttman eyes and ears, he finally comes and tell Buttman something. This is what I'm figuring out. Because this particular day, I see a whole bunch of commotion and Buttman walking over there and Chad and Jay is talking. So here come Buttman, big stalled ass walking over there. You know what I'm saying? And he still got black little rings around his eyes from the fight. And he walking over there. You know what I'm saying? He like, say, bitch, what the fuck? What, what the fuck is this between you and this nigga right here? What, what the fuck this supposed to be? And then uh, Chad like, what, what the fuck you mean? What this supposed to be? This ain't nothing. This my friend. We just talking. Your friend, Buttman, hauled off and slapped Chad. Bow! Spent Chad the fuck around. So Chad get up. What, what I did? What I did? Bitch, you must be stupid or something. And all his boys come rushing over there to have his back. And then Tay Tay comes and jump in the middle of Buttman and Chad and be like, hey, girl, you need to come on home. Now, when I say his boys rushed over here to have his back, I don't mean from Chad. I mean from, you know, they got a community now. So I mean from like Baby Charles, Q, Red, Chad, and Jay. You know, so they just coming over there to make sure everything good. But instead, Tay-Tay uh, trying to negotiate and telling Chad, come back home. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, evidently, Buttman ain't coping with this well. You know what I'm talking about? So... Okay, the dude, Jay, he, he looking at the shit while it's happening. But man, like, man, go ahead, bitch. Uh, make your way. Bitch, make your way. And then uh, uh, Jay look at him for a minute and smiles, do a little smirk, like, <laughs> and turn around. And he mumbled, must have mumbled, I, I ain't going to be too many more bitches. And Buttman say, you ain't going to be too many more bitches. Okay, now let me give you the rundown about this. 
Like I told you, the dude Jay is quiet. Now, remember when Ralph got stabbed in his neck? Remember the guy I told you about Panama who came in with another guy to clean up the blood? Now, I see Panama and uh, like three other dudes is Jay homeboys. They all hang together in a crew. You know what I'm saying? So Panama and the other uh, and Jay other boys come running over there to meet Jay while he walking away. Okay, now, Jay and them then walked away, but Buttman still right there talking to Chad, telling Chad, man, I'm going to tell you one time and one time only, you better go talk to them guards and tell them this living situation over here ain't working out, and you better come back home, you better tell them you want your spot back where you was, I want to see you back over there, relocated by the mark. So, Chad ain't saying nothing, Chad just looking, holding his face. So Buttman and, and everybody just walk back off. Everything calms down and smooth out. So during the day, you see Tay Tay going talking to Chad. I, I'm, I'm assuming he going over there coaching Chad. So I see Big Bambino, uh, Terrell, Keith, uh, Buttman, and a couple of boys go over there and walk towards uh, Jay and Panama in them section. And they having a little conversation, but they kind of quiet. So I'm not really knowing what the conversation about. So whatever it was, it didn't last too long. And Buttman and them walked back over there to their section. So, okay, we're going to fast forward this thing until night fell. Okay, now keep in mind, uh, now the prison is in hostile mode, but... You know, nothing that nobody's really worried about but uh, Chad and the community over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just say it like that. So, I'm going to say about two hours later, I see Buttman and damn near the whole crew, about 20-something deep, come walking past my rack. I'm sitting in my rack drawing, you know what I'm saying? And I see them, you know, which is not uncommon, you know, they... When, when it's beef, air, the whole crew shower together. They all walking to the shower. You know what I'm saying? So, apparently, Roderick, my homeboy, in the shower, and he come running back to me and say, man, come here, come here, go check this shit out. Come check this shit out, man. They got Jay in the shower. They got Jay in the shower. So, I come running back there to come see what's going on, and they back there punching, punching, punching uh, Jay. They hold him, and they punch him and beating him up. So, at this time, ain't nobody trying to, you know what I'm saying, uh, go up in him or nothing. They just beating him and beating him and beating him and beating him. So, I leave out there and go run over there to pimp. Man, they got your boy back there, man. Y'all better come out. They got your boy back there. So, I'm talking about Panama and them just looked at me like, what boy? So, I can't really say nothing about that, you know what I'm saying? That's that's they crew, you know. They, they was hanging together, eating together, play games together. Everything they did, when you seen one, you seen the other ones. So, you know, hey, he don't give a fuck about his dog, then that's on, on them. So, my crew back there still just kind of spectating on what's going on back there. So, I go back back there. When I left from back there, they were beating the shit out of this boy. This boy was damn near unconscious. So, by the time I make it back there... All you hear is, tie that bitch up. Tie that bitch up right now. Tie that bitch up. And I I'm, I start jogging. I get back there, and they tying him up. They tying him up. And he go pulling out the motherfucking toothpaste in the jail. No bullshit. He right there. He putting it on fast. So they tying uh, Jay up. They got Jay dog tied. Hog tied, dog tied. Got him hog tied on his knees just like they had uh, your boy. So he 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 fa he actually face down, and when I say he bust up, he bust up, he barely coherent the way they got him. Now keep in mind, but man doing all this because he gotta assert dominance back and gotta get his power back and gotta show people he's still dangerous and put fear back in people. So what he do is he get to snatching uh J clothes down his his uh J pants down and snatching them down. Then all you see is but man go huh and and Jay go. So they roll Jay out back there in that bathroom and they 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 stay back there with him for about 45 minutes. By this time, we back in Iraq. We had them just left from back there. You know what I'm saying? That ain't our business. He put himself out there when he was uh really congregating with uh Buttman property, which was Chad Shandrika. You know what I'm saying? So that ain't our business. And we, we, you know what I'm saying? We can't violate policy. So, you know, we had to walk back to our uh, racks or whatever. So 
finally they come out of there, you know what I'm saying? You see Bud Man and the whole crew walking out of there, and they pass by Panama and the rest of their boys, and he just point at uh, Panama like this. Just do that to Panama. So I'm going to just fast forward up to about the wee wee hours of the night. So remember on the last episode when I told you Bud Man just lost his mind unpredictably. He just w went berserk. Just lost it. So okay, it's the wee, -wee's hour, uh, wee wee hours of the night. And you know, I'm knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody else, all my crew knocked out. You know, so you know, all we hear is, no, dude, no, dude, dude, chill out, dude, chill out. So all this fucking noise just wake up. Everybody in the prison and everybody wake up. I'm waking up, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like, man, what the hell going on? So I get out my rack. I walk down. All you see is Bud Man with his shit out, grabbing Panama head, trying to push Panama head down uh, to his shit, his, his, his penis or whatever. And Panama, no, dude, stop, man, no. Trying to push him out and Bud Man punch him. Bow, bow, bow. Come here, come here. I said, come here. And, and Panama, you know, he 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 still kind of putting his hand there with resistance. All you see is Big Bambino come out of nowhere and just grab Panama legs and flip him over and, and butt man hold him down once uh Big Bambino got him flipped over and uh Keith and uh Terrell start pulling down his pants and shit like that. So yeah, they end up uh going in the man. But that ain't even where I'm going with this story. They end up going in that man, and they end up going in him decent. And in fact, why the other dudes just laying right there, still acting like they don't hear none of this, and they still sleep. So that shit go on. So they they terrorizing shit at this point, and they just making this shit clear to the whole prison. Fuck what you seen with this fight shit that happened. Bitch, we still in control. And anybody who play with us, we 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 gonna show y'all how shit go. Cause in they eyes, Jay, uh, after he seen this fight between the New Jack crew and 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 them booty, the booty gang, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the booty gang, he he got it in his mind, got the notion in his mind that. It was okay to play with them by messing with Bud Man property. So we got to make a statement. So they just really terrorized shit the whole day. I mean, even, even things that I left out earlier about people, they, they just punched down that day. You know, people they jacked stuff from and took stuff from. They was going in different people lockers and all kind of shit that day. You know, that, that his ego hadn't got the better of him. And right now, he, he really just like he a big old child acting out. And he got to he gotta get this power back. Because he been running this facility for so long. Till now, he feel like he losing control of it. He can't even keep his bitches in line. His bitches ready to leave home and move out. So he got to make a statement to even them. Like I told you, this is prison. This is how crazy things are in prison. And everybody be quick to holler about, man, if that was me, I'd do this, I'd do that. I would love to be there when you do it. I would love to be there to see you do this and do that. I would love to even see you try to violate prison policy. I would love to see you even try to tell the guards to even signal for the guards. In prison, that's a world of its own. And I've been saying that this whole series. You can get lost in that world. When you locked up away from the whole world, you get lost in that world. And that's all that exists. To these guys and there's nothing else outside of this. It's like their life is over with if they lose something. I guess they figure they work hard to earn being in prison and having the control of the prison. But that ain't that ain't the life that I want. And like I said, we form to protect guys who trying to come in here do they time and go home, but not fraternizing 
and, you know, doing drugs, uh, breaking prison policy, and things like that. You could put your whole crew in jeopardy just by doing something like that. Okay, now I'm going to get back to the story. Fast forward to that next morning. Guards come in, do check, uh, do roll call, and it's child time. We're getting ready to go to child. So we all lined up getting ready to walk out the door. When you see somebody come running and flying down uh, the dorm, past everybody all the way up to where Bambino near me is in the line. And somebody swings and hoo, 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 hoo. jugs Keith up about 15 times real fast. And then you see the guards come running in with a stick and slap Panama across his neck with that stick. No lie. It broke my heart to see Panama get hit with that stick. Because Panama went down and started flopping like a fish. That was just his nerves. Bucking on the ground, flopping like a fi fish, flopping like a fish out of water. The guards restrained him and took him out of there. Sent everybody back, put your hands on your head, get on your knees in front of your rack. Took Keith to the infirmary. Keith bleeding like a, a poked up pig. See, in prison, you never underestimate what a man will and won't do. I bet you everybody thought, oh, cool little stay to yourself Panama wouldn't put that blade on somebody. But Panama showed them. And now keep paying the price. Since you want to go with Bud Man and them and you want to go take Panama, Panama took you. Panama, Panama took that boy hard and quick and fast. And Panama is a little thin dude. He, I, I guess he uh, from Panama, but, you know, he was down in Louisiana. I don't even know how that situation happened, you know, but. We just called him Panama. It's crazy. That was some wild. That was wild. That was wild. You know, but Panama ain't waste no time. Panama exact his revenge right then and there. And I can even see uh, Buttman and them, they were stunned. They couldn't even believe little Panama did that. Jay didn't even do it. Panama went did it. Now, when we come back, this is going to be, uh, well, but man, them really have to pay the price for this mission that they went on. They don't know they made a chess move. And at the time, we didn't even know it. But this all played into the favor of the New Jack crew. And I had to bring this story in, so that's why I went on ahead and did this story and got this story up so y'all can be caught up. So when I come back in, it'll show you why I did this story. But this cost them dearly. All right, till next time. Hey, if you would like to help and support this channel and help this channel grow, here's how.